Hello everyone, you're welcome to Gary's Tutorials on O Africa TV. I'm Simeon Grace. Today I'll be taking us on this overlap jumpsuit and it's going to be a palazzo. We'll be needing two and a half yards of fabric to make this overlap jumpsuit and it's going to be a short sleeve with invisible zip. The measurements we'll be using for this overlap jumpsuit are the under bust, the half length and the full length of our jumpsuit. We'll also be needing the bust measurements, the under bust circumference, the waist measurements, the hip measurements. We'll also be needing the upper thigh measurements and the ankle measurements. These are what we'll be needing for the measurements and quickly let's move to the cutting table. I'll be folding in the segment is the base of our jumpsuit. The half length 15 inches, the full length is 56 inches. So we have 41 inches, which is the length. I'll be folding my fabric using the hip measurement and I'll be adding just 4 inches to that. So I have 34 plus 4 divided by 4. That gives us 9.5 inches. So because of the ease on the trouser, I'll be adding 3 inches to my 9.5. That will give us 12.5. So I'll be folding 12.5. The length is 41. I'll have my same allowance of 2 inches. So I have 43 inches. Let's measure. I have 43 inches and I've folded my 12.5 inches. The next thing to note here is from the half length to the waist measurement, the distance between the half length and the waist measurement is 5 inches. So I'm going to get my 5 inches. This is five. Now I'm going to measure the crotch length from my five inches, the crotch length of 9.5 for this measurement. For someone taller and um, bigger size, can use size, you can use 10 inches or 10.5 or 11 inches. So I'm using 9.5 for this measurement. So from this measurement, I'll, be, I'll measure out the hip measurement plus 4 divided by 4, and that gives us 9.5 inches. So I'll mark my 9.5, 9.5. Now this is my crotch point measured from my 5 inches. That's the normal trouser measurement. This is my crotch point, 9.5 inches. This, the 3 inches added to the, the folded fabric, that's 3 inches added to the 9.5 is going to take effect on the crotch point and that gives us 12.5 inches that's my 12.5 inches now from here i'm going to measure the upper tie measurement the distance between the crotch point and the upper tie measurement depends on wherever you took the measurement from so i have the measurement of 22 inches 22 plus 2 divided by 4 gives us 12 inches. Now it's a palazzo trouser. Now the base of our trouser, we can actually leave it at, at 12 inches. And you can reduce depending on your choice. I will be reducing to 10 inches. That's 9 inches plus my 1 inch seam allowance. I have 10 inches. I've reduced the base to 18 inches and 18, 18 inches divided by 2 will give us 9 inches. So I have 1 inch seam allowance. That is 18 inches plus 2 divided by 2 inches and that will give us 10 inches. So now I'm going to connect all the shapes. I'm going to connect. This is coming straight. And I'm going to bring it to the east. That's a 3.5 inches extra that was added. Then I'll bring it down and down to my 18 inches. This is the front. Whatever I have here is the front. I'm going to cut this out.
to cut out the back i'm going to fold another fabric and place this so to the back now i'm going to add one inch to it and remember because of our zip allowance i'll make it two inches two inches two inches from this part i can actually reduce since my zip will not extend to um to the crotch point on the crotch point i still have my one inch so i'm going to bring this shape and i'm going to cut the rest of my trouser is going to be the same thing so i'm bringing this down as the two inches two inches and i'm bringing it out to the crotch point where i have one inch then i'm bringing it back to the normal measurement so let's cut this that's the back The next thing I'm going to measure from here is the waist measurement and this time around I'll measure backward. So I have the waist measurement of 28, so 28 plus 4 divided by 4 will give us 8 inches. So I have 8 inches and this is my hip measurement of 9.5 inches. Now. From the crotch point, after the hip, from the crotch point, I can decide to reduce this. And to do that, I'm going to subtract 0 0.5 inches. And at the base of the trouser, I'll make it 1 inch. That's a matter of choice anyway. Since it's a free trouser, you can just leave it the way it is. So, in case you want to reduce, this is what um they're going to have then straight down and if you don't want to no problem you're good to go so i'm going to cut this out to the waist measurement and all i need here is just to slit this both the front and the back So I'll just trim it up. So I have the front and we have the back. So the next thing is the half length, and I'll be cutting the back first. I'll use the back to cut out the front. Here I'm going to add the zip allowance of two inches and the bust measurement of 32 plus four divided by four is nine inches. So plus my two inches zip allowance, I have 11 inches. I folded my 11 inches the half length is 15 inches plus one inch seam allowance i have 16 inches the next thing i'm going to do is to hide the two inches first So now I'll continue with the measurement. The shoulder measurement, 14 inches divided by two is seven inches. I measure down 8.5 inches, then I'll get the bust, which is nine inches. That's the bust plus four divided by four. This is the under bust measurement of 12 inches, and I'll get the under bust circumference measurement. And that is 26 plus 4 divided by 4, 7.5 inches. My fabric is a bit stretchy, so that's the reason I'm adding just 4 inches. 
and not 8 inches this time around. It's more or less like me not adding anything to the normal measurements. But since I'll be turning the sides, I'll be turning. That's the reason I'm adding 4 inches to the measurements. So this is the arm hole, and from the bust, I'll link it straight to the underbust circumference. And now we are going to cut. Now I'm going to unfold my two inches and I'll divide the fabric into two. I'm going to split this. Okay, now I can hide the two inches. I'm going to use this to cut out the front and since the front is going to overlap to get that I'll just add 4 inches to my measurement so all I need to do is just place the, the, the back to cut out the front and this time around I'm adding 4 inches to my folding this is my 4 inches Madding 4 inches, so on the side I'm going to cut out exactly what I have and it's going to be the same length. So to measure the neck design, the width, I'm going to measure 3 inches. This is a matter of choice, actually. If you don't want it too wide, I think this measurement is perfect. The back depth, I have 1 inch. That's 1 inch. The front depth, I have 5.5 .5 inches as a matter of choice this is my 5.5 .5 inches now first I'm going to cut out the back and I'll notch the width I'll notch the width and I'm going to cut this is the back from here I can just slit the shoulder to slit the shoulder, you can measure one inch and slit. Don't mind me, it's easy to place my tape root to cut. Okay, so I have this. This is the back. I'm done with the back. And now, from my 5.5 .5 inches, which is the depth, I'm going to bring out a V shape. This is the shape of the neck design. Now, I'm going to bring it down from the 5.5. I'm going to bring it down to, the, to this middle. You can use your ruler to achieve this. All right, so. All I'll just do is to trace it out perfectly. Good. So I'm going to open this. All right. This is what we are going to have afterwards so, 
going to look more like this. Yeah. All right. So this is the front. So I'm going to cut lining for the front and and the back, just the half length. I'm cutting lining for the half length alone. To cut out the sleeve, the length is eight inches and I have two inches folding allowance and my seam allowance, so that is 10. The round sleeve is 10 divided by two is five plus three inches for my folding. I have eight inches, so this is my eight inches. I'm going to measure down four inches. This is my four inches and the, the round sleeve of um, 10 inches divided by two is five plus one inch seam allowance. That is six inches. So for my four inches, I'm going to slanting it down to my round sleeve measurements. And I'm going to bring out the armhole shape. Okay. So this is one of the sleeve. And I'll place this to cut the other sleeve. Just fold the fabric. Now place this to cut. So this is a sleeve. The half length, I'm going to cut out stay so as to hold it firm. You can use any type of stay, the soft one, S stay. Are good, so I'll be placing this on my SD. I'll be using SD, so I'll place this on my SD to cut it out as well as the lining. I'll place it on the lining as well to cut it out. Thanks for watching Carrie's tutorials. We've come to the end of our cutting. I'm sure you enjoyed the class. If you do, don't forget to click the subscribe button. Also, click on the notification button in order to get notifications for our new posts. I remain Simeon Grace. You can follow us on Facebook and on Instagram at All Africa TV. And you can follow me on Facebook and on Instagram at Carrie's Till I see you next class. Bye.